Hi, I'm Stardust with the Occupy the Auctions and Evictions Mike, campaign. Please. Mike, please. Thank you. Um, I'm Stardust with the Occupy the Auctions and Evictions campaign. Um, I, again, want to urge the San Francisco Employee Retirement System commissioners to do their fiduciary duty in protecting the investments uh, of our pension holders here in San Francisco by um, examining the investments in predatory, discriminatory, and uh, in banks involved in predatory, discriminatory, and illegal lending. Uh, I hope you will follow your own social investment policy, which clearly states that uh, discriminatory lending uh, should be considered uh, as part of the investments of the retirement fund. Um, you have uh, received a lot of information from staff about the uh, various illegal, discriminatory, and predatory activities of the banks, but you probably haven't received the latest one, which was just announced on April 4th, the Department of Justice, uh, and, and I'm sorry, I actually can't see with the go goggles on. <laughs> um, it says here, Reuters, members of the U.S. military whose homes were unlawfully foreclosed on between 2006 and 2010 will receive about $39 million from subsidiaries of Bank of America and Morgan Stanley, the U.S. Department of Justice announced on April 4th. Um, and they also said that they're continuing to do audits of the country's five largest mortgage servicers, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Citibank, J.P. Morgan Chase, and Ally, to identify violations of the Service Members Act foreclosure provisions that occurred between January 1st, 2006 and April 4th, 2012. So this is not over. The banks are continuing to engage in these illegal, discriminatory, predatory practices, and we ask you to take action in the in in the interests of people in this room who are themselves facing foreclosure and evictions, who are your own uh, retirement board members, um, or sorry, who are your own city employee members of the retirement system. Thank you.